to go out there and play for the seniors. Um, nothing selfish about it, just in terms of, you know, seniors get a lot of pride and a lot of joy from seeing other guys go out there and play through us. You know, we enjoy seeing that. So um, a lot of emotions. I'm just really proud of all the guys that went in and played through a high level. Would you consider this the perfect way to end the home season with just everybody getting in, the huge win, just a lot of fun, a lot of festive atmosphere out there? Absolutely. Um, the energy on the sideline, didn't skip a beat the whole game. You know, guys were rotating in and out. Um, pretty much everyone played and played at a high level, executed the game plan, and just to see some of those young guys come in and make, you know, big stops in critical situations. Um, that's what it's all about, and I'm glad that's just going to be my last memory here at Desert The senior class, 27-1, and one, the one-point loss last season. And you look back on it when you came in, did you envision that that could be the home stand for you guys? Because that's what Clemson football is built on in the 80s, that you know, winning at home. Yeah, um, and coming in, I wouldn't even think to see myself in the position where I am right now, just as far as how my career has unfolded and everything like that. But, I mean, I'm just thankful for how it ended. Um, you know, just each year, just continuing to grow and build as a program, and just the senior before us teaching us how to take the torch and keep carrying it, so I'm really thankful for that. How do you reconcile the emotions of having to play at least two more games, if not more, and it being the last time you step on that field? Um, just next game up, you know, I knew today was the last game at Death Valley, so just really taking it game by game, I embraced everything about today, the atmosphere, fans, um, my teammates, coaches, so um, now that that's, you know, today is done and over with, and I'm going to cherish those memories and just move on to the next game. What is it about what you do that makes you so good at defending the option? Um, I mean, honestly, just trust my key, just trying to play fast. And um, I mean, the thing about triple option is once you know your key, you can go full speed to your key because you know you have help on whatever else it is. If it's the dives and you have the pitch, I can go straight to the pitch just because I know I have help elsewhere. Do all the various tributes military-wise throughout the game affect the emotion at all on the sidelines? Or are you guys just so involved in the game that you're not really noticing the, the extracurriculars that are going on? Uh, I'd say a little bit in between. Um, definitely whenever they um, honor um, veterans um, during um, timeouts or anything, we definitely like tune in to see what they've been through and how far they have come, especially today. Um, I was really fortunate to be able to just tune in and hear some of the stories of combat that those, that those men have been through. So I'm appreciative for that. What was going through your mind when you got to the hill to, for the last time? Like, this is it. This is the last time I'll be at the top of this hill as a player. Um, just really just looking around at all cylinders, just looking at all the fans, all the purple, orange, and white, and just really just thankful for it all. So, Speaking of like emotions and finding games, you've got one more game against South Carolina coming up. But what are your emotions and your favorite memories from this rivalry? Um, just how we have responded in my time here um, against Carolina, um, pretty successful. And this being my last year, you know, um, it's a lot of. Um, intensity. It's, it's a rivalry game, you know, what's understood don't got to be explained. Um, it's going to be a lot of high emotions, but um, emotions don't win the game. Um, executing the game plan, playing fast and physical do. And I know you guys want to celebrate this win, but how quickly do you turn the page? Um, page is already turned. <laughs> um, you know, I'm sure Coach will um, have checked through it. Um, I'm sure we're not going to spend too much time on it just because we're not going to see the triple option again this year. And, um, you know, this game's over on the next one.